Hi everybody, MTG Openings here again, this time with the new Magic Commander 2014 Forged in Stone. I recently purchased all five, I'm going to record opening all of them for everyone on YouTube's enjoyment. Well, and uh, like everybody knows by now, the Commander 2014 stuff all comes with a new Planeswalker, which you can use in your Commander decks. I will show you the actual card. You also get a big foily version to use if you want to feel fancy while you play. All right, let's break this thing open. Here's the big card, like I said, it's foiled. Even has all the normal numbers at the bottom, which I thought was a little strange, but anyway. Back looks like almost like a magic card. And then each one comes in a box. The name of the deck is on the side. This one's forged in stone. And inside you get your tokens, the cards, a insert for the deck, and a rule reference card. Let's see what kind of cards we got in here. There are a bunch of new cards and a bunch of reprints for in each deck. We'll go over the tokens first because this is the first time they include tokens in the decks, so which is kind of cool. They are double sided. So the first one is your Stoneforge Blade that actually is made by the Planeswalker, and on the back is your Germ Token. Core Soldier and Pegasus. I don't know if they've ever made a Pegasus. In recent since they've made started adding the tokens, but there's one now. More soldiers and Pegasus, an angel, cat, another angel and cat, soldier and spirit, another one, another one, another one, and another core and Pegasus. Okay. So each commander deck is a hundred cards and there are no duplicates, so I'm just going to page through, except for basic land. I'm just going to go through a few here so everyone can see them. Here's your land. And since these decks are monocolored, you're only going to get your basic land, of course. Planes, okay. Now on to the business here. Here is the Planeswalker. So, now here you are the Lithomancer. She is an old planeswalker. She helped seal up the Eldrazi. If you read the story on Magic's website, and like I said earlier, these all now have a little line on the bottom. You can actually use them as your commander. So no other planeswalkers are like that, but that may change, maybe not. She seems pretty good for commander. Um, I mean, the only bad part is it's monocolored, but you could put them in your multicolored decks if you wanted to use her and not as your commander. The other new legend, Giselle Goldmane, this is a Johnny's brother. Um, he might make a nice commander. I don't think he'd be very good in this deck, because this deck's going to be very artifact based. And there's Kemba. So Kemba is usually the go to artifact mono white equipment general, at least before the new Planeswalker. So they threw that one in there for you as well. Containment Priest is the new, one of the new uh, cards in the set. It's actually, I think, the most expensive one right now because it can go in legacy decks, mostly against things like Show and Tell and a few other, and Reanimator, a few other cards that try to sneak creatures into play without actually casting them. If you look, uh, if a non-token creature would enter the battlefield and it wasn't cast, you exile instead, so it would remove it from the game. And then there's a whole bunch of rares in each one of these. Grand Abolisher, Mentor of the Meek. This one's the Hollowed Spirit Keeper's new. Silver Blade Paladin. So Angelic Field Marshal has the new keyword, Lieutenant. Each deck gets one of those. Basically, if you have your commander in play, they get a bonus. So this is a 3 3 flying for 4. And if you have your commander out, he actually gets plus 2, plus 2. And all your creatures get vigilance. So that's pretty good. Geist Honor Monk. Arcrealm Angel, Adakar Valkyrie, Sun Titans, pretty good one, Mythic, everyone likes the Titan Cycle, Sun Blast Angel, Twilight Shepherd, Angel of Dire Hour is new, 
Sarah Avatar, it's another one of the mythics. Armistice. Mobilization. Sacred Mesa. Marshall's Anthem. Kathar's Crusade. True Convictions. Pretty good card. I remember playing with it in Limited in, Mir in Scars of Mirrodin, and it was pretty good. Oblation. Benevolent Offering. Muppets, which is a ridiculous card name. White Sun Zenith. This is why you get so many cat tokens. Fell the Mighty's new. It's another new wrath effect. You can kill basically all the stuff you want to kill, or all the stuff in general. Nomad's Assembly. Deploy the front is new. deploy to the front is a new one. Kind of looks like they have a portal gun there, huh? Marshal Coup, Degree of Justice. Mastery of Work Ingenuity is new. Copies equipment in play. Each one of the monocolored EDH decks comes with it comes with the respective medallion. This one's pearl. They make all of your spells of whatever color it is cost one less. Um, they only made them in one set before, so it's a pretty good reason to pick these up. So now we're getting into the equipment. Luxton Warhammer, Stratoscythe, Sword of Vengeance, Bone Horde. Too bad the uh, living weapon wasn't batter skull, but I think that would make this deck a little too good. Moon Silver Spear, Argentum Armor, and now we're getting to some land. Mary of the Sky Ruin. If you notice, most of these cards have all been rare. Here's a, one of the new land Arcane Lighthouse. I'm not sure if all the decks come with it, but it's pretty good. It makes your opponent's stuff lose hexproof and shroud, so you can actually target it. Drifting Meadows, the Cycle Land, Ghost Quarter. Haru, Secluded Step, Temple of the False God, White Main Line. We're finally into the non rare cards, it looks like. Core Sanctifier, Flicker Wisp, Skyhunter Skirmisher, Celestial Crusader, Brave of the Elements is a pretty good trick. Condemn, Afterlife, good removal spell for white. Midnight Haunting, Wing Shards is actually a pretty good removal spell too. It has Storms, you can actually remove multiple creatures with it. Return to Dust, Gift of the Estates, Spectral Possession. So here's Skull Clamp. Now, everyone that played during Skull Clamp knows Skull Clamp, except this is a new picture. Um, this works really well with the Soldier Tokens. Basically, it says pay one, draw two cards, which is pretty broken. Every one of these, again, comes with a Soul Ring. They also each get their respective diamond. Here's the Marble Diamond with the new picture. I think they used them on Magic Online, but not ever in print before. So each of those will come in these. Mask of Memory, Swiftful Boots to protect your non-Planeswalker commanders if you want. Commander Sphere comes in each one. It's actually a pretty good new card to add to most of your um, medium speed and slower EDH decks. Assault Suit's a new one. And Lore Seeker Stone is also new. Well, that is the whole deck. Like I said, I haven't gotten it. I just opened them now, so just opened it now. I'm not 100% sure how it plays. I'm going to probably sit down and play with it for a little bit before I take it apart and put different parts in my own EDH deck. But I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more. And be sure to check out any of the other Commander deck posts that I put up as well. Thanks!